The radical anti-austerity Syriza party has swept a victory in Greece's parliamentary election. They picked up around half of the 300 seats in Parliament. Then, in the early hours of Monday morning, Syriza clinched a coalition deal with independent Greeks, a small right-wing party also opposed to Europe's economic policy. Charles Farrell, the journal's Europe markets editor, is in Athens. Many argue that what Greece needs most are structural reforms, reforms that change the way the state, the way the economy works. And Syriza is certainly not at the vanguard uh, of proposing those. Speaking in Athens, Syriza party leader Alexis Tsipras said, quote, Greece has turned a page. Greece is leaving behind the destructive austerity, fear and authoritarianism. It's leaving behind five years of humiliation and pain. To the many Greeks who voted for the left-wing party Syriza, it represents a chance for change. The party's promise of food aid, electricity subsidies and a higher minimum wage is attractive. The 40-year-old has promised to renegotiate the country's 240 billion euro bailout deal. He's also pledged to reverse many reforms, reforms that creditors demanded in exchange for keeping Greece financially afloat over the past five years. They included cuts in pensions and the minimum wage, some privatizations and public sector firings. Syriza's most difficult moments may come with Europe. Much of what it's proposing, the additional spending, the debt relief, are things that Germany and the Eurozone creditors have said they explicitly do not want. Syriza has also rejected the monitoring program, known here as the Troika, of officials who come to inspect progress in Greece's bailout. Alexis Tsipras, Syriza's leader, has said the Troika is no longer welcome. But the Troika is fundamental to how Germany and the other creditors operate the bailout. Despite the ebullience of the many who proclaim victory here, there are for Greece and for Europe difficult days of strain ahead.